Graco's True Coat 360 sprayers are the latest addition to the True Coat line of handheld sprayers, and there's never been anything like it. It's so advanced, it's simple. Outdoor projects or indoors, the True Coat 360 family of sprayers all deliver a high quality finish in a fraction of the time as brushes and rollers. All True Coat 360 handheld sprayers include the innovative 32 or 42 ounce flex liner bag system that gives you the ability to spray in any direction, even overhead. Narrow and wide pattern spray tips and the unmatched ability to spray unthinned latex in oil-based paints, stains and clears. The basic True Coat 360 sprayer comes with everything shown here. The True Coat 360 DS model adds a dual speed control and three extra reusable flex liner bags. The True Coat 360 DSP sprayer includes the dual speed control, a durable storage case, and six additional flex liner bags. The True Coat 360 DSP features four 42 ounce flex liner bags for big jobs, a durable storage case, and a variable speed control. Because True Coat 360 sprayers require no thinning of materials, the color you spray will always be vibrant and rich, exactly the color you expect, all in one coat. As with any power tool, understanding safe use and operation is very important. Always wear protective eyewear and a mask when spraying. Make sure to refer to your operation manual for all warnings and safety information and never use any materials with your True Coat 360 sprayers that are labeled as flammable. All True Coat 360 sprayers come with two reverse clean spray tips, a 4-inch narrow fan pattern for small surfaces and a 12-inch wide fan pattern for large surfaces. These spray tips are reversible, making it easy to clean tip clogs that may occur as you spray. When the tip is pointed forward, it's in the spray position. When the tip is reversed 180 degrees, it's in the unclogged position. True Coat 360 spray tips are designed with a locking tab to keep them secure when spraying. To install the tip, simply hold it so that the tab is toward the front of the gun. Insert the tip into its hole and rotate it so that it points forward and locks into place. Store the extra spray tip in the convenient storage receptacle located on the base of the sprayer. The prime pump spray knob on the side of the sprayer has two positions. Turn the knob to the down position to release pressure and prime the pump. Turn the knob to the forward position to spray. The innovative flex liner paint bag system found on all True Coat 360 sprayers allows you to spray in any direction, even upside down. The main components of the Flex Liner paint bag system include the Flex Liner bag, vacuum valve, vacuum valve reservoir, cup cover, and cup support. The dual speed control feature allows you to slow down or speed up when spraying. Use high speed for fast results or when spraying thick material. Use low speed when you want more control and less overspray. The variable speed control allows you to dial into the ideal spraying speed to best suit your material and project. Turn up the variable speed control to spray faster, or dial it back for increased control and less overspray. Each True Coat 360 sprayer is tested before it leaves the Graco factory in Rogers, Minnesota. Before you use your sprayer for the first time, you will need to flush out the test fluid. Remove the cup assembly from the sprayer. To properly balance the VSP models, slide the included kickstand onto the base of the sprayer's grip. Insert a flex liner bag and fill with water. And replace the lid. Tighten until the two alignment guides are within range. Align the vacuum valve on the cup cover with the prime pump spray knob pointed in the prime pump position. Push the cup assembly onto the sprayer and twist to lock. Turn the prime pump spray knob to the prime pump position. Turn the sprayer upside down and point it into a bucket. Plug the sprayer into a power source. Pull the trigger for three seconds. 
Then turn the prime pump spray knob to the spray position and rotate the tip 180 degrees to the unclogged position. While holding the sprayer upside down, point the sprayer into a bucket and pull the trigger for three seconds. The sprayer is now ready for use. To start a new job, insert a flex liner bag into the cup support. Fill the flex liner bag with material and screw the cup cover onto the cup support. Tighten until the two alignment guides are within range. Align the vacuum valve on the cup cover with the prime pump spray knob pointed in the prime pump position. Push the cup assembly onto the sprayer and twist to lock. The vacuum valve is an important part of your new sprayer. It's used to evacuate the air out of the flex liner. Open the vacuum valve cap. Gently squeeze the flex liner bag to push the air through the vacuum valve just until you see material enter the vacuum valve reservoir. Stop squeezing the flex liner bag and snap the vacuum valve cap closed. You will hear the cap click when it's properly closed. For maximum air evacuation, slightly tilt the sprayer so the vacuum valve is at the highest point. Plug the sprayer into a power source. Turn the prime pump spray knob down to the prime pump position. Point the sprayer into a bucket and pull the trigger for five seconds. Depending on your model, set the dual speed switch to high or the variable speed control to 10. Air from the pump may have entered the flex liner during priming. Repeat the previous air evacuation steps to ensure you have an airtight system. Turn the prime pump spray knob forward to the spray position. Make certain the spray tip is fully installed and locked into the spray guard and pointed in the spray position. You are now ready to spray. If the sprayer runs out of paint, Simply separate the cup support from the cup cover and refill the flex liner bag. To do this, unplug the sprayer from the power source. Separate the cup support from the cup cover. Set the sprayer upside down on a flat surface. This will keep the wet paint in the cup cover. Fill the flex liner bag with material and screw the cup cover onto the cup support. Tighten until the two alignment guides are within range. Open the vacuum valve cap and gently squeeze the flex liner bag to push the air through the vacuum valve, just until you see material enter the reservoir. Stop squeezing the flex liner bag and snap the vacuum valve cap closed. You will hear the cap click when it's properly closed. Plug the sprayer into a power source. Turn the prime pump spray knob down to the prime pump position. Pointing the sprayer into a waste area, Pull the trigger for five seconds. Then turn the prime pump spray knob forward to the spray position. You are now ready to spray. If the sprayer does not spray, try these troubleshooting steps. Make certain the cup cover is tightly secured to the cup support. Tighten until the two alignment guides are within range. Make certain the cup assembly is properly locked on the sprayer. Make sure all the air is out of the flex liner bag and the vacuum valve cap is properly closed. Make certain the prime pump spray knob is in the spray position. Make sure the tip is not clogged. To clear a clogged tip, rotate the tip 180 degrees. Depending on your model, set the dual speed switch to high or the variable speed control to 10. Briefly spray into a waste bucket to clear any clogged material then rotate the tip back to the spray position and resume spraying. With the Truco 360 sprayer, you won't need to worry about the spraying angle. You can spray in any direction, 360 degrees. Here are some tips to ensure you achieve the best results. The dual or variable speed control feature lets you manage how fast or slow the material leaves the sprayer. The low setting delivers more control and reduces overspray. Use this setting when first learning to spray or when spraying small items that require more control. Turn the speed control to high when you want to get the job done fast or when spraying large surfaces. 
With variable speed control models, start at the lowest setting and increase pressure to achieve your desired spraying speed. To reduce overspray, always spray at the lowest speed that results in an acceptable spray pattern. Use a piece of scrap cardboard to practice these basic spraying techniques before you begin spraying a surface. You want to achieve a smooth, even finish for the best finish result. Hold the sprayer 10 to 12 inches from the surface and aim straight at the surface. Tilting the sprayer to direct the spray angle causes an uneven finish. Flex your wrist to keep the sprayer pointed straight at the surface you are spraying. Fanning the sprayer, causing the spray to angle, results in an uneven finish. Always keep in mind that the speed at which you move the sprayer will affect the spray finish. If the spray pattern on the surface is pulsating, you are moving too fast. You should slow down your hand movement or turn the speed control to high. If the material drips, you are moving too slow. Speed up your hand movement to create a consistent, even coverage. Pull the trigger after starting a spray pass. Release the trigger before the end of the spray pass. This will create a nice fuzzy edge around the entire spray pattern, so your next pass will blend with the previous pass. For best results, the sprayer must be moving when the trigger is pulled and released. Aim the sprayer at the bottom edge of the previous pass, overlapping each spray pass by half. Rotating the spray guard changes the pattern to either the vertical or horizontal orientations. When spraying vertical corners, turn the spray guard to the horizontal orientation and spray directly into the corner. A good spray pattern is evenly distributed as it hits the surface. If tails persist, the material may need to be thin. Follow the instructions on the back of your material container under Spraying Applications. If you use the 4-inch narrow tip and the 12-inch wide tip in your painting project, make sure to clean the tips when you are finished using them so paint doesn't dry inside of the tip. Following these guidelines will ensure you achieve the best results. Cleaning your sprayer after every project will help keep your sprayer lasting and working as long as possible. There are times though when it's okay to not clean the sprayer. If you are spraying a project and need to continue spraying the next day, simply turn the tip 90 degrees in the guard and leave the material in the flex liner bag. If, however, you are spraying a project that will require a delay in spraying of more than two days, you should completely clean your sprayer. To properly clean your sprayer, disconnect the sprayer from the power source. Turn the prime pump spray knob to prime pump to relieve pressure. Separate the cup support with the flex liner bag from the cup cover. Set the sprayer upside down on a flat surface. This will keep the wet paint in the cup cover. While holding the flex liner bag in the cup support, return any excess material to the original container. You can either dispose of the used flex liner bag or clean it. If you'd like to clean the flex liner bag, it is best to keep it in the cup support when rinsing it with cleaning fluid. To clean the sprayer, fill a clean flex liner bag with appropriate cleaning fluid. Secure the cup assembly to the sprayer and shake the entire sprayer for 10 seconds to clean the cup cover. Make certain the prime pump spray knob is pointed down to the prime pump position. Reconnect the sprayer to the power source. Depending on your model, set the dual speed switch to high or the variable speed control to 10. Turn the sprayer upside down and point the sprayer into a waste pail. Pull the trigger for 10 seconds to circulate the material in the pump. Turn the prime pump spray knob forward to the spray position. Reverse the spray tip to the unclogged position. With the sprayer upside down, point the sprayer into a waste pail. Pull the trigger for 5 seconds, then release the trigger. If you use both tips in your painting project, make sure to switch out the tips during this process. Remove the cup assembly and properly dispose of any used cleaning fluid. Repeat this process until the material coming out of the sprayer is clean. For best results, do not spray more than one cup of water through the tip while cleaning. If more flushing is necessary, remove the tip from the sprayer. 
Use a soft cloth to clean the cup support and cup cover. Remove the spray tip and strainer and clean with water or mineral spirits, depending upon the material you used. A soft brush can be used to loosen and remove dried material if needed. The vacuum valve is an important part of your sprayer and it should be cleaned after every use. Remove the vacuum valve cap from the cup cover and clean it with a soft brush. Run water through the vacuum valve reservoir and use a cloth to thoroughly clean the area. If at any time the vacuum valve air hole becomes clogged, use a paper clip to clean the hole. To clean the exterior of your sprayer, wipe with a soft cloth moistened with water or flushing fluid. Never submerge your sprayer in any type of fluid. The reversible spray tips will require replacement after heavy use or after spraying abrasive material. Spraying with a worn tip will result in a poor spray pattern. Properly cleaned and stored with pump armor, your True Coat sprayer will be ready for your next project. Graco Pump Armor is available at your retail store. For proper storage, clean the sprayer and cup assembly. Turn the prime pump spray knob down to the prime pump position. Make certain that the vacuum valve cap is closed. Remove the cup support and flex liner bag from the cup cover and set the sprayer upside down on a flat surface. Remove the strainer from the pump opening. With the sprayer upside down, pour approximately two ounces of pump armor into the pump opening. Then thread the cup support with the flex liner bag to the cup lid. With the sprayer still upside down, point the tip into a waste container and pull the spray trigger for three seconds. Remove the pump assembly and dispose of any remaining pump armor. Store your True Coat sprayer in an upright position, indoors, in a cool, dry place. The Graco True Coat 360 family of sprayers. Advanced, simple, easy to maintain, and always ready for your next painting or staining project.